scam. It is very clear that the Vigilance Department and the Anti-Corruption Bureau were only trying to shield Dilip Parolekar because when the complaint was filed by me initially with the Vigilance Department, the Vigilance Department gave a clean cheat to Dilip Parolekar that there was no substance in the allegation and that report was submitted to the Lok Ayukta. The Lok Ayukta conducted his inquiry and now has come, out, come to the finding that there is prima facie uh, evidence against Dilip Parolekar that he showed favoritism to the contractors. In fact, uh, the work which was being conducted uh, approximately for around two crores, the entire beach cleaning of Goa was being conducted for uh, two crores a year. That was increased to about 15 crores once Dilip Parulikar uh, came to power as tourism minister and he hired these two contractors. So now the Lokayukta has said that the investigation uh, by the anti-corruption branch should be recommenced. He has also suggested since there is a corruption angle that the matter be handed over to the CBI. Now the government will have to take a call on this and since the chief minister and the BJP speak about good governance and zero tolerance to corruption when there is an independent finding by the Loka Yukta it is very important that we don't have any faith in the vigilance department or the anti-corruption bureau. They are basically agents of the BJP just to shield those in the PJP who are corrupt and to target opposition leaders so that they are uh, silenced not to oppose anything being done by the government. So there is no point handing over this inquiry to the ACB or the vigilance. It would be prudent for the Goa government if it really stands by zero tolerance to uh, corruption and good governance that the inquiry into this multi crore beach cleaning scam be handed over immediately to the CBI. The Congress has today also accused that uh, you know, the Chief Minister was involved in the whole scare party. In fact, there is there is more than uh, enough evidence. I have in fact submitted all details to the Vigilance Department that one of the main conspirator in this scam is Odut Parekar. Odut Parekar, the brother of Chief Minister Manohar Parekar, is directly involved in this scam. There is evidence which I have given to the Vigilance Department that meetings between the officers and the contractors was were conducted at the residence of Odut Parekar at Purvorim. So there is clear evidence that Odut Parekar was the man behind the scenes masterminding this entire... Now in view of Lokayukta's order, the case will have to be reopened and the contractor who has faulted and the politicians involved must be charged it. When I say politician, the top one also. I don't think this project has been cleared only by the tourism minister. If somebody about tourism minister has also cleared it, he should be brought under the ambit of investigation. And that is very essential. Otherwise, you catch hold of one minister and only officials makes no sense. Do, do, do you suspect uh, uh, involvement of former chief ministers in uh, the whole scale? There is a question of involvement of former chief minister. Question is, present minister is there, chief minister is there, no. I can't call him former chief minister, he is there, present chief minister. So present chief involvement? Maybe, maybe. Thank you.